my name is Claire Swinarski and I'm the host of the Catholic Feminist Podcast. I wanted to answer the question, what would I say to someone who is considering leaving the church? The first thing I would say is, I understand. I get it. I don't think you're crazy. I don't think you're being dramatic. Everyone responds to trauma in really different ways and this is a really big deal. So I see you, I understand you, and I don't want to belittle your concerns. Secondly, I would say to focus on what makes the church the church. The reason that we're Catholic and not in denominations doesn't have to do with the fact that our priests are so nice or our Pope seems like a great guy. The reason that we're Catholic has to do with the Eucharist, that we believe that Jesus is truly in the body and the blood and that by consuming the Eucharist, we are joining together with Jesus in a really intimate way. No other church has that, and that's what keeps bringing me back to the church. I also try to remember all of the wonderful things that the church has done, while at the same time keeping in mind that that never excuses the horrendous behavior that her members have engaged in. I also like to think about the fact that the church is not just the clergy. The church is all of us. And so are there some members of the church who need to do some very deep soul searching and probably legal punishment, absolutely, but the church is bigger than that. The church is me, the church is you, the church is the people at your parish. And that's my last point. I would say to get involved in a local level. If you're considering leaving the church, reach out to your own diocese, your own parish priest, and look into what they're doing to help with the scandal. Sometimes I think getting as local as possible is the best thing we can do to make the church seem more manageable. It's such a large body and we can feel really far apart from Rome, and in many ways we are. But if you look at your own diocese, it can make you feel a lot more empowered and a lot more part of the church. So look into if they have a lay panel of people who investigate abuse claims. Look at what your own bishop has said or if he's had any masses of reparation. I think that those kind of things might empower you to stay connected and stay rooted in your local church, knowing that yes, we're part of a large body, but you're also a vital member of that body.